integrate x times the square root of 1 minus x squared. Let's go ahead and try to work this out. So it looks like we can try to make a u substitution. Typically, uh, whenever you have a square root, u is what's inside the square root. Not always, but typically. So if we let u be equal to 1 minus x squared, then taking the derivative, we get du. And on the right-hand side, we use the power rule. So that would, be, that would be negative 2x dx. And now the goal uh, when you're using u substitution is to make um, what you have here look like what's in your integral here. So in the integral, we have x dx. Here we have negative 2x dx. So we need to get rid of the negative 2. So let's divide by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. So this becomes negative 1 half du equals x dx. And now we have here exactly what's in the integrand. So we can make our substitution. So the x and the dx can be replaced with negative 1 half du. So negative 1 half and then du. So all that's been replaced so far is just, just the x and the dx. That's all that we've replaced. That's the only thing that has been replaced at this point. Now we just have to replace this piece. So this will be the square root of u. But let's have some foresight here. Um, the square root of u is really u to the 1 half. And that's beneficial because in the next step, we can use the power rule to integrate. So the negative 1 half hangs out. We add 1 to the exponent here, right? It's 1 half plus 1. That's the same thing as 1 half plus 2 halves, which is 3 halves. This will be u to the 3 halves. And then we're dividing by 3 halves, so that's the same thing as multiplying by 2 thirds. Skipping a step here, right? We, when you divide by 3 halves, it's the same thing as multiplying by 2 thirds plus c. The 2's cancel, so you get negative 1 third. And then now we just go back to x. So u was 1 minus x squared. So this is 1 minus x squared. And the whole thing is to the 3 halves plus our constant of integration, capital C. That's it. I hope this video has been helpful, and until next time.